This is Adam Post, creator of College of the Dead, the comic book, publisher of more than a thousand comics, and also somebody that's been in business and finance and on the board of directors of a public company. And I can tell you, trouble is coming to Disney. Big company, successful company, but trouble is on the way. Um, it looks like there's a class action lawsuit coming at them fast based on the $6 billion fraud whistleblower claim. Now, I did a story on August 19th, 2019. Um, other people were doing stories as well, covering the whistleblower accusation of overstated revenues, which means um, revenues that were claimed to have passed through the company that did not actually pass through. So what was going on? Well, look, back in 2008, 2009, um, when Disney was claiming revenue for its theme park unit, over here, they were claiming, and this is 2008, 2009, uh, about uh, $10 billion in revenue. So, so what was the issue? You know, Now it's almost up to $18 billion in revenue. What was the issue? The issue was um, the whistleblower claimed that Disney was reporting the full value of tickets that were discounted. So discounted means if they were being sold, sold through travel agents or websites that were not their own websites, or if they were being sold in a group and that they were actually heavily discounted a lot of the tickets that were sold. This was like around the time of financial crisis and, and there were you know financial problems um, throughout the country and they must have, normally you're gonna see uh, discounted theme park tickets. That's not a, that's not a strange thing. Um, but they have to be reporting them at the proper values of the revenues of re that they received. And um, like a lot of things, uh, accounting in the entertainment industry is notoriously a little bit odd. But this whistleblower is claiming that it was really off the charts, that the $10 billion here that they reported uh, was nowhere near $10 billion. It was really 60% uh, less. And that was just for one year. So... Data Racer, who does tremendous research uh, based on Disney and, and other entertainment uh, on Twitter, he just finds this really cool bits of information. He does his research and he puts them out there. And as he states, and this was on September 17th, um, and he had reached out to me. We, I appreciate him sending me these, uh, these tweets, let's put it that way. Uh, but in any event, a former state attorney general in Louisiana has initiated – a shareholder investigation into the $6 billion accounting fraud claim made by a former Disney employee. After the SEC's fraud investigation was announced, former Disney employees tweeted similar stories about Disney cooking the books. You see what he's saying here? So he's saying there are other people out uh, from Disney that are former employees that are saying, yeah, Disney's getting funny with how they're reporting revenue. Now, that's not to say that this is criminal. It's not to say that this is illegal, um, but it's to say that, look, there's a few whistleblowers out there. They're saying the way that Disney is doing its accounting is not 100 percent straight or within reasonable principles. Uh, so, hey, you know, people should be looking into this. And that, that's what they're saying. And um, again, it's not to imply anything criminal. It's just to imply, hey, uh, this could be a substantial fraud. So. There's this article in uh, Market Watch from going back in August, uh, and this is when they were first talking about, um, you know, the announcement of Market Watch. Market Watch is the ones that actually broke the story. Um, this investigation by the former Louisiana Attorney General, Con Swick and uh, Fody. Now, what this is is the former Attorney General of Louisiana, Charles uh, Fody, is a partner at this law firm. Con Swick and Fody, and they made a public announcement. This is on Business Wire, which is a, a business trade uh, service that kind of just will get press releases out uh, to media and to websites. So they pay a fee, not an enormous one, uh, a couple hundred dollars, or they have a subscription and they pay maybe a thousand or two thousand a year for it. And they're able to send out a certain number of press releases just to get the word out and to create interest uh, about what somebody is doing. I've used services like that before. It's a great service. Um, so what this is about is you'd say like, well, what is it with this law firm? What do you mean attorney general? It, it's not criminal. It's civil. But 
it's still very serious. You know, we have a former attorney general involved in a law firm like this, uh, and this is their press release uh, announcing an investigate. They've commenced an investigation into Walt Disney Company. Um, and what are they saying here? Okay. So this basically just restates what the claim is of $6 billion. So you might wonder, like, do they represent the whistleblower or one of the whistleblowers or some individual shareholder? The way this stuff works, okay, and these are some of the, oh God, these are some of the article, some of the tweets that Data Racer is uh, referencing. And, and you can see the accounts talking about how money wasn't handled properly. Uh, at Disney. Now look, it's a big company. They have a lot of units, uh, a lot of different divisions, film division, theme park. Think about it. Even, you know, 10 years ago, they're reporting revenue of $10 billion just for the theme parks. Plus then they have films, licensing, publishing, uh, television networks, cable networks. It's, you know, they own uh, ABC. Uh, they own ESPN. It's just enormous, enormous ventures that you know, who even knows all what they own? You have to go on their website to even begin to figure it out. But this is serious. It, 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 these are serious claims. All right. So who is this law firm? Um, this law firm, and I, I did a little research here. This law firm, the first thing that comes up when you search this law firm, KSF Council, is security class action litigation. Now, they haven't announced a class action lawsuit. They've announced uh, an investigation into the company. But if you do a little homework and you go on the website and you go and you uh, contact this uh, law firm, which I actually did uh, just this morning, um, they take your name, they take your contact information, they ask you how much money you feel you've lost in your Disney shares because they'll ask you what it's about because they're involved in numerous class action cases. Uh, and then they tell you that someone's going to contact you back. They ask for your email address and your phone number as well. I gave them my correct information. Um, and regardless of, I'm not, I'm not saying one thing or another about my holdings in um, uh, Disney. This has nothing to do with that. But what I will say is, yeah, it's a pending class action lawsuit, even though it hasn't been announced yet. They're collecting information. They're collecting contacts to go ahead and... Um, be able to then sue, and they a, a firm like this would collect a percentage for any money recovered from Disney for an alleged civil fraud of misreporting um, revenues. And God only knows how much revenues it is. Uh, back to the research uh, from Data Racer One Seventeen. The guy is amazing. He's fantastic. Um, you know, just more tweets about funny things happening. Uh, with the finances at Disney. Now, he also did this follow-up tweet as well. See, I tell you, this guy's amazing. you got to follow Data Racer 117 if you want to know what's going on in the world. Um, Disney also posted – right, this is actually significant. To be honest, I didn't understand it the first time I read it, so I want to read it again slowly. Disney uh, – okay, it's interesting that Disney posted internships for financial fraud auditors the same week – the SEC investigation was reported by MarketWatch. You understand? So Disney posted jobs for internships for financial fraud auditors, obviously to work at Disney, not to work for the SEC, but to work at internships for financial fraud auditors the same week that the SEC investigation was reported by MarketWatch back in August. Um, and experts say the SEC moves too slow in pushing its whistleblowers to private lawyers to cash in. And, th and that is that is true. Uh, the SEC does move very uh, slowly. Um, you'll remember that the Bernie Madoff case, excuse me, took forever to get started. And then, um, you know, eventually it did, but only really when they were forced to by by uh, Henry Markalopoulos. Um, and that's another whole story. But in any event, the SEC, just because something goes wrong, they respond to fraud uh, more than they go and investigate fraud. They, they're very uh, reactive. They're not uh, so much proactive. No offense to them. I mean, there's a lot of companies, a lot of business out there, but it, it's just not how it works. Um, a civil uh, firm like a, a KSF would go, they would find what looks like to be a legitimate uh, complaint, and then they would pursue it on behalf of um, a class action, which means several people who are in the same situation 
will follow through one law firm like they did with tobacco uh, and then eventually hopefully get a, a settlement uh, or a claim if they have a legitimate claim paid by the company. Um, just to go over these notes, um, this is great reference from Data Racer. Uh, this is his reference, and I'll include links to these tweets as well so you can see it for yourself. Um, this is reference from Glassdoor, which is a job site talking about the financial fraud uh, positions that um, they're hiring for over at Disney. So I don't know why Disney's investigating fraud unless they're a little bit nervous about these claims. Um, and to keep in mind, this firm, KSF, they are a very credible firm. They've won, as uh, Data Racer says, hundreds of millions in um, similar cases. Um, now, one thing um, I did want you to be aware of, though, is they are not. This is not going to be Enron. Disney is not going anywhere. Mickey Mouse is not going to jail. Spider Man, thank goodness for him, he's at Sony, so he's going to not have to go to jail. Now, nobody's going to jail here. All right, this is um, not Enron. This is one division where they probably had overly aggressive accounting practices, meaning to say they overbooked the revenue. They they claimed to, kind of like Captain Marvel, somehow the numbers wound up inflated and a little larger than they should be. Um, and it's, again, it's a big unit. It's a big piece of business, but it's not um, half of Disney. It's not... Uh, 40% of Disney. At most, it's like 20% of Disney. And they'll find that there was some uh, a law firm that or accounting firm or both that signed off on some of the reporting. And so if some of it was sketchy and inappropriate, yeah, they may have to pay a uh, hundred or two or three hundred million dollars or something uh, to a class action lawsuit. Maybe at worst a billion dollars to a class action lawsuit. Um, and Honestly, they just write that number off. They overpaid $20 billion for Fox to buy that studio um, just because they were gonna, had to negotiate with Comcast. They spent like $70 billion on that, $71 billion. Um, they have an extra billion or two they could always shake loose. So uh, this is not Enron. There's not un, it's not out of control fraud throughout Disney. Uh, but... Yes, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's substantial. And yes, uh, it could cause uh, more auditors and uh, law firms like KSF or maybe KSF themselves to start questioning the accounting practices of some of their other financial units. All right. I, I hope um, that this has been uh, useful for you and I hope this has been educational for you. I want you to uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will have more updates on this story and other interesting things about comics and pop culture, uh, individual creators about comics, as well as other cool things that are going on in the entertainment industry. Um, and so go ahead and subscribe, like this channel, uh, make sure you click the bell for notifications. And I want you to learn about my comic, College of the Dead. Hey, how you doing? College of the Dead is my 140 page zombie apocalypse comic book. It's black and white. It's completely done. The first printing ships October 31st, 2019. Make sure you get a chance to get a copy of this. It's on Indiegogo. It was successfully fully funded. All the money was raised for it. Uh, it's going to be shipping in October and uh, that will be the first printing. Uh, we'll have a few copies of that beyond what people pre-ordered, but not a heck of a lot. So go ahead and make sure you get a copy of this. And uh, you can see the link in the description below. You can also go to collegeofthedead.com. It will take you to where it's currently available. And I'll tell you what, this is a phenomenal comic book. You can see the uh, cover of book two right here. We're working on that right now to finish it for January 2020. And these are the interiors of College of the Dead book one. All done by the same artist, Javier Aranda. He's a phenomenal artist. And go ahead and check this out. I know you're going to love this comic book.